Iambrake was a pivotal phase three trial that was initially presented last year uh, and has since been published in the New England Journal of Medicine as of May of 2020. So this was a trial for patients essentially with first line treatment for unresectable HCC. So this was a global study and enrolled 501 patients across the world. And it randomized patients in a two to one fashion to receive either combination treatment with atezolizumab plus bevacizumab uh, or serafinib. Uh, and patients continued on treatments until progression or toxicity. And the co-primary endpoints were overall survival as well as progression-free survival. Um, so previously, what was reported in the intent to treat population was that there was a significant benefit in terms of overall survival as well as progression-free survival with the combination of atezolizumab plus bevacizumab over our prior standard of care of serafinib. And as a result of that, this is now uh, FDA-approved treatment uh, just most recently in June in the United States, and I anticipate that there's going to be worldwide approval to follow uh, on that. Uh, here this year at the uh, World GI Congress uh, presented by ESMO, uh, we presented data on the older adults uh, sub-analysis. The reason why we did this was because what we noticed is that traditionally data regarding the use of systemic therapy options for patients with HCC has really been limited and it has somewhat uh, made practitioners in clinical practice uh, put them in somewhat of a conundrum and a knowledge gap in terms of how should they potentially treat these vulnerable older adults. And we knew that there would be questions about how should we treat our older adults with this new standard of care with a tezolizumab plus bevacizumab. And here at the World GI Congress, what we presented was that we saw that there was really uh, identical efficacy in the older adult population. Uh, I will say for Embrave 150, half the patients that were enrolled were older adults defined as age greater than or equal to 65 years. Uh, and what we saw was that in terms of the primary endpoints of overall survival uh, and progression free survival, there was essentially an identical advantage of overall survival and progression free survival in the older adult population compared to both the intent to treat population as well as younger patients. The hazard ratio for overall survival was 0.58 in the older adult population, which is identical to the uh, overall population that was previously presented. So this really provides reassurance that this combination of atezolizumab plus bevacizumab uh, really works even in older adults. And even more so, we show data for patient reported outcomes and noted that Basically, for all the patient reported outcomes, even in the older adult population, those patients that were treated really had a de de delay to deterioration of these patient reported outcomes, such as quality of life, physical functioning, and role functioning, along with disease related symptoms of fatigue, pain, uh, and decreased appetite. So, this is really showing that not only is the treatment working and patients are living longer, uh, but they're living better uh, in terms of these patient reported outcomes. And this is despite the fact that in older adults, we show that they had more comorbid medical problems such as hypertension, and diabetes, and used additional cocumin medications. Uh, so, in that context, uh, this is really assuring that this is a good treatment option even for our vulnerable 